I don't know about you, but if there's nothing in here besides our little bubbly friend over there, I suggest we just vacate. Well, I would tend to agree. He doesn't seem like he's much of a threat. I leave the room. Okay. I follow suit. You can see the path to your left would connect back up to the room you entered. There is a continuing path towards the right. And Ophelia, you notice there is a broken wooden chair splintered to pieces, kind of lying in the center of this little fork in the road. Do I notice anything odd about it? don't even need to roll. It is just a broken wooden chair. It appears to have been submerged just as long as you would expect anything else under here. Okay. <coughs> then I just continue on my way down the little path. Alright. You open up into another branch. It turns to your right, forward ahead, and to your left. This room appears to also be pretty empty. <coughs> I look down the right path. Alright, take a few steps closer if you would. This was right, right. I didn't need to connect this. Oh no. Well, Elric, you notice <coughs> this kind of stops at another short dead end, but more noticeably. <coughs> excuse me. There is an altar kind of jammed into the wall, kind of almost growing out of the wall. Mm -hmm. Further kind of confirming the fact that everything's kind of jammed together. This altar does not look pleasant. This altar looks to be used for negative purposes. And both of you roll perception real quick, if you would. Right. That will actually work for both of you. Above the altar, kind of scrawled onto the wall, practically scratched into, you know, all the rockings and etchings, and, you know, among the barnacles and whatnot, are the words, The thorns of Shazaram looted this place. The thorns of Shazaram looted this place? Correct. Do I have any knowledge of Sazeram? Uh, go ahead and roll it. <coughs> Eleven! Eleven. Unfortunately, that's not quite enough. You have, Excuse me. <coughs> you have not heard of such a thing. <coughs> Goodness. I want to give it a shot. I want to roll a wisdom check for that. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve is not enough either. It's not okay. strike any memories with anybody. Do we notice anything on the altar that might indicate what it was used for? The altar, in fact, does have a bull sitting about it with plenty of, looks like, ground-up bones. This altar specifically looks to be sacrificial in nature. But it is too worn and too submerged to really tell much else. <laughs> Some splish splashing can be heard up above you guys back out in the hallway in the little fork in the road. Your little scum friend begins wandering in, dragging his head in the sand, like pushing his head as he walks along. He just kind of stops about right here and kind of turns about like he's trying to locate something since he can't actually see anything. And he kind of looks in your ish direction, but his head's still plopped down in the sand. I have um, an ability I want to use. I want to use. I want to see if I can make a ghost a ghost sound for him to follow the other direction. Okay. Might be, might be 
14. I'll take it. Where would you like to cast the sound? I want to cast it... I need to ping. Down this way. Okay. Did you want it to sound like anything in particular? Water splashing. Alright. He will kind of adjust himself and kind of shovel his way along. And disappear into the darkness. Is this path continuable? No, this is a little dead end right here where you guys are at. How about we backtrack a couple rooms to one of the other splits? Sounds agreeable, but what's down this little path? The fish, and I'd prefer to avoid him at all possible. Oh, well, he's not going to hurt us. You don't know that. I don't know that. I'm pretty sure about that. If you guys would like to roll creature knowledge again, especially Elric, since you have not done so, you can. I do so. Do so? Do you want a wisdom or an intelligence modifier? Whichever works best for you. It's wisdom. Uh, 19 plus 2 is 21. Perfect. This is, in fact, a dumpy fish monster. Scum are not known to be aggressive and more annoyance than they are worth. They are literally named scum because that is what they are labeled down to. It's a dumpy fish man. Just the same, I'd rather avoid him. Ugh, fine. <coughs> the less people around, the better. What, do you plan on killing me? If I need to. I would love to see you try. I give a questioning look and start observing him as though I don't trust him anymore. And continue. What do you want to do? Make it back to the chair. You're back at the chair. What do you want to do? Let's head back to main room with the... up this way, yeah. I'm just following along. Alright, the... Observing, obviously not there trusting. is a path towards the north, and there is a still a kind of a path towards the right here. You would assume the same crab wanders about the room a little bit more. Let's head north. As north as north can be. Um, I, I casually meander behind him, staying far behind as to observe him. <clears throat> Alright, the path begins to branch off towards the left and continue a little bit more towards the north. But nothing really to note yet. Excellent, we move on. Alright, which way would you like to look? I want to look to the left. To the left, the room opens up into another chamber, if you would call it that. I didn't say go down there yet. And what about to the right? To the north, you notice it continues onwards, but you begin to see quite a few crabs. stop and investigate the little hall real quick. Elric, from this part right here, you can tell this does, in fact, end at another dead end, but there's about five or six crab who seem to have noticed you and are trying to desperately get away from you and get to the walls. Not worth my time. I head, I head over to, to Ophelia, who's investigating the hall. The hallway opens up into another area. I go ahead and head it, head in. I follow. Okay. 
All right, both of you, roll initiative. As you are accosted by a glowing set of eyes. And I've got 17. One. All right, obviously, Elric, you are first. This chamber opens up, and you are m most noticeably met by a Lacedon ghoul. This is essentially a ghoulish fish man. Lovely. Who has spotted you and is looking to kill. The thing is the epitome of a feral fish ghoul. This thing will take its actually it will take its turn to kind of impose in advance. Elric, you have first move. Alright. My weapon of, of choice is our claws. Okay. So I ready them and start to approach. I will do that as a free action. And I wish to try and in an upward motion, kind of like I'm trying to stick my claws <coughs> through his ribcage. Excuse me. Like an uppercut. I want to All try and attack that way. All right, roll it. I've got a 10. Does not hit his armor class, which is actually a 14. Okay. <clears throat> Ophelia, it is your goal. Uh, I choose my, my long sword to attack with, and, of course, the little dagger I have on the end of my tail. And right. I attempt to wrap my tail around. You have to get closer. And I approach in an attempt to wrap my tail around his neck. Okay, first, uh, well, you have to pick one... You want to just grab him with your tail, is that correct? Yes. Okay, roll to grab. Nine. No, you still need to beat a 14. This thing is slimy and slips past you. This thing will retaliate to Elric as you are right up in his face. How does a 17 hit your AC? It does. Alright, this thing will lash at you with its claws. Only for about 5 damage. Okay. <coughs> and back to the top. Alright. Give me just a moment while I plug in the health. Okay, done. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, I don't have any combat magic. It's all to get away. I am going to strike again. Or attempt. With a six. Six does not beat a fourteen. This thing is agile. Very. Ophelia. Um, rather than attempting to grab him with my tail, I attempt to stab him with the little knife at the end. Alright, roll it. With a one, unfortunately, you backslash and stab your friend. Five damage. Elric? Hello, Elric! I swear I was trying to get him, not you. This is why I prefer to be alone. Everyone always stabs you in the back. Literally. This Lacedon will now focus on the Dragon Lady. How does an 11 hit your AC? I'm 14. Alright, so it will miss its swipe at you. <coughs> Elric? I will... Attack again! With a 12. I'm getting rather mediocre rolls. 12 does not hit. Ophelia, it is your go. I give up on using my tail and attempt to stab the beast with my sword. Roll it. Seventeen. 
six, six. Six misses. This thing is too agile for what you guys are used to. Ugh, evil little thing. It will focus on the dragon lady again with a 20. Like, that definitely needs my armor class. Yes, it will roll for a whopping 30 damage as this thing strikes you right upside the face. Elric. I am going to strike again, or try, with a natural one. Natural one, you downright fall prone. You just somehow fall on your face. I lost my footing underwater. You are not even sure. Guessing. Ophelia. <coughs> uh, a little irritated at this monster. I'm not exactly sure. Would you say you're angry? I am very angry at this little thing. Okay. Or large thing. It's about the size of you. It's a humanoid. I attempt to charge at it with my sword and gut the little thing. Roll it. 17. Perfect. Now roll a d6 for damage. <coughs> Four. Alright. Giving a whopping 20 damage out of its possible 24 health, this thing is bloodied and will immediately retreat into the far side of the room as you practically run it through with your sword. <laughs> Still irritated the little note. Can I have, have, do I have an action? You used your action. Okay, I'm good. Look, well, you used your attack. This thing will take its turn attack. and just run away from you guys. Irritating little... Duh! Are there any loose rocks or anything around? You can find a rock or two in the sand about your feet if you'd like. I want to find the biggest one, and I want to try and propel it towards... No, wait, no, I can't do that. Mage Hands just moves things. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to... As far as you can tell, this thing is no longer interested in you guys, so you are able to get out of combat if you would like. I personally leave com take my turn to leave combat. All right. Obviously, still a little miffed by the thing. I just continue on, continue and follow. Ulrich. Ulrich. The I path. The path opens up more towards the north. It appears it will open up into a chamber. Both of you roll perception. Nine. Six. Alright. As low as that may seem, what you first see in this area right here, a shiny, nice little pile of treasure sitting right about where that ping is. Of a hundred gold coins, shiny as ever, sitting right there out in the open. <clears throat> Just a nice little stack of coins. I don't trust it. If you guys like to roll perception again, you can. I do. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yes. 19. Perfect. 20. Perfect. You guys are not seen, but you guys can now see this room does in fact open up into a chamber, a dead end if you will, and there are five Lokathin 
fish warriors with spears kind of hiding in the shadows looking at that pile of gold very intently. It's a trap. Is a hundred gold coins really worth all the trouble? I want to use... Can I use that? I want to try and use press the digitation to create a false person in that area. Just okay. Just to spring the trap early. Uh, you can do that. Roll effectiveness with a d20, if you would. Yeah, three. No, you are not quite sure if you can do this. There's got to be other ways to go. I just back out. And on the way out, munch on <coughs> I'm sorry, on the way out what? Munch on a little healing herb. Alright, I'll give you five health back. Herbs don't do much, so that's... pretty much what I was expecting. If you guys would like to fast travel to any known spot, I will allow it, unless something obstructs your path. <laughs> Let's fast travel back to the main room with the one crab. Okay, do so. The crab still meanders about. Meander seems to be the word of the day here, apparently. Since we've tried all the other directions, should we go that way? I point in the direction of the right path. There was still another path down south, but I've led so far. Be my guest. From where you guys left off near the altar, that seemed to be going forward, so to speak. Well, you're the one that wanted to avoid the fish man. I personally don't care about the fish man. I just stay silent. You're the one leading. This I'm crab will wander off this way. I'm going to meander. <laughs> I'm going to follow the crab. The crab seems to be afraid of you and will try and get away from you. <laughs> so you are literally... I just, I just continue to follow the crab to the chair so I can head straight down the little path where the scum creature went. The crab is running away from you. <coughs> At this point, I'm just following the crab to bother the crab. Crab will continue this way. Okay, I start to meander down the path. It, you're not even going to wait for him to... No, she's fine. It, I didn't mean to. The path branches up here, the path branches up to the north, it continues on this way. At this point, you have lost the crab. He's disappeared in front of you in the darkness somehow. Ah, uh, my toy disappeared. I look around to see if I, can, I, I notice anything. This room itself seems to just be more brokenness. Nothing really to point out. Let's head more to the south. We've already tried north a hundred times. Let's try south. At this point, I am obviously very irritated. Fishman is not here. He's in the walls. The room opens up into another chamber. Alright, you notice several things about this room. It branches towards the north and branches out towards the south. Notably, there is a large manta ray floating, skimming about the floor here. There's also a large cloud of water, a haze, like an oil in water situation. 
<coughs> that seems to be radiating some form of magic. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I try and sense the orientation of the magic, or what? try and figure out what it is? Certainly, you can use Detect Magic, roll a d20. 20? A critical hit. This, you, you easily discern the magic aura coming off of this little puddle here. Obviously, whatever this liquid is should not just be free-floating in the water, but it is enchanted water or liquid of some kind, which will give the ability to grant beauty to whoever, whoever offers a prayer to the god of chaos but only once it's a one time use beauty. essentially a gigantic charm boost if you would I pull out a collection vial and I collect some of it you do so this will sell well. I curiously look at him. Why will it sell well? What is so different about the water? This water boosts one's attractiveness. One time use, but it will have its effectiveness somewhere to someone for the right price, I'm sure. Very arrogantly, I give a little, I, I give a smug little smirk. I don't need any help with my attractiveness. <laughs> the manta ray kind of flip flaps around about the floor. I try to detect whether or not the mantis ray is <clears throat> any danger to me. As far as common knowledge goes, it is just a manta ray, but you can roll perception if you would like. Sure. Excuse me. I have no idea where that went because it rolled behind. You can see it over here. You rolled a six. Ah. With a six, you feel this thing is not going to do anything. It is a little manta ray. It's, it's only in about what five inches of. It's it's only in about five inches of water, so it's not like this thing's gonna jump out and latch on your face or anything. <laughs> it's a large mouth flap flap. Yes. Flaps are not dangerous. Pointy flap flaps are dangerous. I'm not ignorant. No, that's, just, look... me. that's just me being meta. <laughs> a crab he's, he's will a wander out of some seaweed towards your north, in which this manta ray will take notice and immediately head for this crab as this crab vacates up towards the north, and manta ray will follow as if found food. Oh, look at you. That was not meta. That was a jab at her. I just look over a little a little aggressively. I'm severely irritated right now. Messing with me would not be the wisest idea. And then I venture after the crab again. <laughs> I pursue the crab up north. Yes, yes, yes. I'm with you momentarily. You are practically tailing this little ray here. As it is pursuing up north. <laughs> Both of you roll perception. Fourteen. Five. Elric, you notice an interesting thing jutting out of the wall, which appears to be an ob a point of interest compared to everything else kind of broken about the place. It appears to be a common rune for something like an arcane eye. If I'm not mistaken, <coughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong, oh great and merciful DM, but the arcane eye is similar to, not necessarily, but akin to a distanced camera, like a security camera, basically. Correct. See yes. In an area where someone else is not. That is correct. Uh, would you like to roll uh, further